previously on Cognition. I'm sorry, Eric. You're gonna hate me for saying this, but I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me, you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Ah, it's Sully! What the hell is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. You're about to find out how alike we really are. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. She saw me. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian. He's Karobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us can leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Eric. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we're going to do this, then there are some things we need to go over first. because of me because I couldn't this will end the way it began with fire blood and tears this place is lively I've seen worse but none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain. Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the things we see... Listen, Red, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. I guess. But that still doesn't make it right. Don't worry, kiddo. If nothing else, the donuts will thicken your skin. Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I 
appreciate the risk you're taking. Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. Let's go over my cover again. Agents Arthur Rosenberg and Jeremy Snowden reported that an illegal Russian Mafia gun shipment is being dropped today. You're here to check that everything was delivered before pickup. You're the stateside contact hired and very trusted by their leader, who goes by Jack Stryker. Obviously not his actual name. Not your job. Focus on the operation at hand. What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes, and twice for no. Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Who's Jetta? We already discussed her. She's Stelios' girlfriend, a prostitute junkie who's been our eyes in these circles for a while. The only thing you need to know is that our target trusts her, and that she'll be giving you important information. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can, but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed. Do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. I'll do my best. Thank you. Assume positions. Be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. When you asked me earlier why I'm still doing this, before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. <laughs> Turns out training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. Go take care of that lowlife. got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. You must be Stelios, right? I'm here about the gun shipment. Huh, <laughs> the Russian doll. I thought you were blonde. Remember, Jetta can signal you with eye movements. Be discreet, but look in her direction if you need help with any of Stelios' questions. I thought you were blonde. I don't know what you're talking about. They sent me. Now are we getting down to business, or are you gonna keep wasting my time? Not so fast, pretty face. What's the shipment number? Shit, Reed, we don't have that. My client is gonna be really fucking unhappy when I tell him what went down here. You heard me. Shipment number. You heard me. Shipment number. It's over there. <laughs> Did Jay send you? 
Jack Stryker goes by Jay, but he might be tricking you. He has a lot of people running his stuff, and he's particularly known for letting one of his thugs give the orders. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Jay sent me, yeah. Then you wouldn't mind if I gave him a call. Right, Jetta? Nah, I don't think she'd mind. That could get you in deep shit, Erica. On the other hand, it could distract him. Sure, call him. Hey, Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> hey, hot face. He wants to know, what's your name? Her name is Vanessa Madsen, but when she deals for him, she goes by Ariel. It's going to be one of those two. Ariel. Yeah, that's it. We're good, Jay. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, what do you want? I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order and that we don't waste my client's time. Alright, one final question for you. Here's one for you I tell all my clients. You should know this one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine, tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch! I got you, you bitch! John, it's now or never! Nobody lies to Stelios! I got you, Reed! Reed? What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. Come on, pick up, damn it. Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. I called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup! Our path was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door, and the end begins. I haven't been to the family lake house in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. 
I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother. But I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this. And if I can't stop him on my own, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do. A small broom. It might help with something. Maybe I can open this. Furniture. Mom liked it that way. I can see keys in one of the pockets. Oh, that was close. There's no way Keith left that open. Aha! The keys to the house. No. Keith's work table. There's too much junk to look through right now. At least he won't be able to get away. So, there's one way to do this. Some thin wire. This might do the trick. Keats. He must be in pretty bad shape now. this. There. Oh, look at this. It must be that drug he uses to knock his victims out. I'll take a peck, or two, or maybe three. Keith's gun. My visions showed this ending badly. Max, I know you'll hate me for all the things I'm going to do, but... I won't let anyone else suffer like we did. Old furniture. Mom liked it that way. Okay, that'll hold.
Okay, that'll hold. No, the drugs are a backup. I don't want to use them unless it's necessary. Keith, come out of there now! Cool. Cordelia? Surprised? I figured that since I was locked up and you didn't come to visit me, I'd come to visit you. I wanted to, Cordy. I just didn't know what I would say. What you did was... Stupid. I should never have taken the blame for what you did. I felt so broken. I thought I'd protect you. And I wanted to understand... <laughs> Why? Why, Keith? Because I need to. I can't fight it. I, I just need to. That's it? You destroy our lives. You force me to kill Max, and that's all you can say? I need to? I could usually suppress or ignore it, but that night in Max's office, when I found out the truth, it changed. Suddenly, I felt cut off from you two, from everyone. There was no reason to suppress it anymore. I want to try to forgive you, Keith. Can you? You have to understand that this is something I can't control, Cordelia. I must kill. I understand the need to kill. It, it stirred in me when I killed Max. Killing doesn't make us monsters. It just makes us human. And because I'm human, I still love you, Cordelia. I always did. People like us, we can still love. Yes. And even though I never felt anything for Max like I have for you, I just couldn't control the need to kill him, to understand what made him tick. I'm sure Max is grateful for what we did, together. Do you think he understood why we did it? Do you still prefer him over me? Keith, I always preferred you. Come here, Keith. Cordy. What are you waiting for? You did it to Max. You could do it again. Pull the trigger, because if you don't stop me now, I'll kill again. You can't, can you? So much for the drugs. The pain of her past is not over yet. But pain has made her strong, and the past must be uncovered if the future is to become clear. Erica? Cordelia, I've been... I've been looking for you. You've found me now. But this is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. Mom, get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> ah! Rose about Bao Tan. He will point the way. The choices are hers. The path is before her. And it will bring us either justice or condemnation.
Erica. Erica, my dear. Are you okay? Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Cordelia. Everything's gone to shit, Rose. I feel like I should hate Cordelia after all she's done. But I don't. But Sully? Davies? Oh, God. John. Is it so wrong if I say that some part of me understands her? Erica, scions have an affinity for empathy. Whatever horrors Cordelia has committed, you cannot help but connect to her human side. The woman she was before, the woman she could have been. Who is Baltan, Rose? Did you say Baltan? Oh, dear. I haven't heard that name in so very long. Cordelia mentioned it in my vision. I'm not sure I want to talk about this. Please, Rose. I don't know if I can trust her, but this must be important. I have to find her. I have to stop her and her brother. Rose? Sometimes I can remember the particular smell of the jungle. It was musty and salty. And yet I liked it. It was summer of 72 in Vietnam. I had come with the Catholic relief, posted in a remote village, helping those affected by the war. You were in Vietnam? A nun? Why doesn't that surprise me? No, not a nun. A volunteer. It was a hot morning. Vietnamese soldiers patrolled the area just as they would regularly. I was taking a few hours off, sitting in the plaza outside the village temple. I was watching the kids play ball and looking at a figurine a priest from the temple had given to me, all while trying to do some reading. It was so hot that I couldn't concentrate on my book. And that's when I noticed him. Bartin? Yes. There was a wretched man standing under the shadow of a tree, walking back and forth, mumbling nonsense under his breath. In those days, it was not an uncommon thing. War drives people mad, and so I thought he was just another miserable soul still looking for a lost wife or child. Those were desperate days. Sad days, my dear. What happened then? Out of nowhere, the man started screaming like a madman. Scaring the children, he would run from one child to the next, raving about fires in the sky. Of course, it was not long before the soldiers took him away and threw him in a cell. People were already scared enough. They didn't need a madman to start stirring nonsense. Was it? Nonsense? I saw the man's eyes as he was being carried away. They made me very uneasy. But they took him away, and the plaza went back to normal. Hours passed. I got lost in my reading, and then a bright, bright came, and there was a noise, a big boom. The impact threw me against the wall of the church. I awoke under rubble and dust and blood. There was the body of a dead child next to me. She was holding a doll in her hands. And I remembered the man's word, fire in the skies. What happened to him? Bao Tan was branded a spy, a Viet Cong. No one could have known what happened unless they were privy to that information. In the following nights, I became haunted by visions of him, and I could not stop seeing his eyes, those tortured eyes. I requested they let me see him. It was not easy, but they allowed me to serve as a spiritual counsel to him. They were going to execute him? Yes, but not before they tortured him in order to extract information. The day I came to his cell, he would not meet my eyes. He lowered his eyes like a scared puppy. It took me days to reach him, but eventually I did. What did he tell you, Rose? He told me that he would feel things, and that this time he had seen the fire in the sky. I went to see him day after day, trying to grant some measure of peace to a hopeless man. I believe I did some good for him, that I was a friend to him when the whole world had abandoned him. When they executed him, he told me something. It's a shame to say that the exact words escaped me. I remember his eyes, his soul, 
and to this day I live by our moments together. Rose, I don't understand what Cordelia wanted me to learn by this, but I need to try. Would you give me permission to look into your memories? Oh, my dear. I won't push you if you don't want me to, but I need to know this, Rose. I might be able to make you remember exactly what he told you. Wouldn't you want to remember that? Sometimes, yes. But there are some memories better left alone. I will let you, but if I say stop, please stop. I promise. A temple. I wonder what religion it belongs to. It was given to Rose by the temple priest. Rose was reading a book, but which? The children were scared. They were playing with that ball. I wonder what village this is. What could have happened to him? They thought he was crazy. Rose doesn't remember this. I need to find out what this flag really looks like. It got burned as badly as that little girl. This is horrible. She's so lucky to have survived. I don't think luck has anything to do with it, my dear. Did I say that out loud? He gave her something. Rose doesn't remember what he gave her? I need to find out more about this. They were going to execute him. She suffered. She doesn't remember what she told him? This is what I need to dig up. But I'm gonna have to clear her memory fully and replace all the missing pieces before I can see what she has locked here. What temple was that? It's a Cao Dai temple. There are a few of those in Vietnam. The kids were playing with a ball. Yes, I found that bar later and kept it. What village was this? The outskirts of Tran Bang and South Vietnam. What did he give you, Rose? Check that shelf over there. What book were you reading, Rose? Oh, my dear. I don't remember. Did you ever find out why he said the things he did? Yes, but I do not wish to think about that. It's too hurtful for me to think about them. Didn't you try to stop them from executing him? I tried. I moved heaven and earth trying to find a way to grant him a pardon, but those were not granted easily. I could not save him. Listen, my dear. Sometimes the forces of the universe are stronger than our fiercest wishes, and as much as we have to try, there comes the time when we must accept whatever path the universe has prepared for us. I did not know that then, of course. Part of what I learned from Bao Tan was how to stop believing I could change everything and instead just do what I could to comfort him while he still lived. Sometimes all we can do is simply let go.
What did you tell him, Rose? About what he could do? Isn't it obvious, my dear? This is the shelf Rose told me to check. It's a piece of a photograph. It's only a piece of a photo. Is that Rose? There was something here before. Could it be what I'm looking for? It's beautiful. This must be what Bautan gave Rose. It was given to Rose by the temple priest. Do you remember what the flag of the temple looked like? I can't remember, my dear. Did you sell what he gave you? Oh, no. I sent it to a friend. To be honest, I just did not want to remember that day every time I saw it. Do you remember what it looked like? I do not know that I want to remember that. And those memories are very hard to recall, my dear. But I did take other things from that time. I put them all on the shelf. Maybe that could help you. Did you ever find out why he said the things he did? Yes, but I do not wish to think... Was Rose using a name other than her own? She doesn't remember it. I need to find out. Why can't you remember your name? I'm Rose Duvalier, but when I went to Vietnam, they gave us different last names in order to protect us. So that the enemy couldn't identify your family to blackmail you? Yes, and I do not remember what that name was. Look in the top left drawer of my desk. Maybe you can find something there to aid you, my dear. The Alchemy of Happiness. Wait, what's this? It's a piece of a picture. This is Rose in Vietnam. But I can't see the whole thing. It's been ripped.
Look at her, all smiling and young. I know what you can do. I know you will do good by those like us. I can see it. You will be an angel among those like us. Oh, I gosh. too have failed, my dear, many times. But we must always pick ourselves up and keep on going. I couldn't save Baltan, but to this day I keep his spirit with me. You could hear him. You can... you can read minds, Rose? You're one of... us? I can see and hear people's thoughts, my dear. That must be what Cordelia wants you to know. But why? I do not know, my dear, but it is certainly something that she has foreseen, and it is undoubtedly part of a plan. So Cordelia is like Bautin. She can see the future. And just like him, she was judged for a crime she did not commit. This is a very powerful kind of scion, Erica. Also a very cursed one. Those who can see the future are plagued by their visions in ways far worse than those like you who can see the past. I tried to help Cordelia, but the events that unfolded around her came too swiftly to be stopped. Rose, but how come I could see the future? I've been thinking about that. It is true that every yin has its yang, and when you bring together scions with contrasting but complementary powers, especially a pair still learning to cope with them, uncontrollable things happen and the powers can clash. What you saw was a vision Cordelia had in the past, her vision of the future. But because it had to do with you, it triggered whenever you were close to her. So, in the parking lot at the station, and again in the hangman crime scene. But then, why didn't I see it when I met her at the cemetery? You were probably more susceptible to danger in those other occasions. But I don't have all the answers, Erica. What I do know is that this power links you to each other, which is how you connected to her past so easily at the Inthon Towers. 
Why were you so sure that John was in danger? He confided in me about a few things, and there were other things I read. But it was when you called me from the towers that I made the full connection. What they did to Cordelia after Max's death, it haunted Jean in ways you cannot imagine. Do you blame her, Rose? That is a very hard question to answer. I feel for all the scions out there. But in this short time, you have known her better than I ever did. Probably better than anyone else. The question is, do you blame her? I don't know how to begin to answer that question, Rose. Let me entertain a thought here, Rose. You can read minds, and Cordelia wanted me to know this. Now, I know you keep saying your memory is fuzzy, but I need you to concentrate on what I'm about to ask you. Go on. When Cordelia was here, was there anything that you read from her thoughts? Anything special? Anything that seemed to matter to her or that could tell me where she or Cain might be? That would be a very hard thing to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. When Cordelia's visions would overtake her, I would ask her to focus on a place that would calm her down. And did you read her? I'm seeing it in my thoughts right now. It's a lake house. This must be where Cordelia wants me to go. But where is this? There has to be something that can guide me here. It's just a matter of time until I put you behind bars. Or take you down myself. She looked so happy back then. Who is this person? Wait. It's Scorobius. He can tell me where this place is. Last I heard, they were holding him down at the station. Time to pay a visit. I think I have all I need. Thank you, Rose. Erica, wait. I have not quite told you everything. Really? I had a feeling. I live up to Baltan's last words. I look for scions and I help them deal with their abilities through training or whatever means necessary. I've taken it upon myself to offer scion salvation. We need to protect our kind. There is much for you to learn about what I do, what we do. But right now, you need to promise me that you will do your best to handle Cordelia. I know that you will use your best judgment with her. I don't know if right now is the best time to... This is not an invitation to join us. This is just me trusting you fully. There are others like you, others that have been watching you for some time. Your coming here was not an accident. Know that whatever happens, in here you will always have a home. Thank you, Rose. Your badge and your gun, Reed. Now leave. Take a vacation. And I want you to go through counseling before even thinking of coming back. Is that clear? You finally found a way to do it. You've wanted to do this since I went against you the night that Scott died. You must be happy now. No, Reed, I'm not. But after what happened with John at the Anthon Towers, there's no other choice. You need to be off this case and away from this office. But not before I debrief you. I want to know everything that went down in there. Did you bring Scorobius in? Yes, he's in one of the interrogation cells. Leave it be, Reed. Collect your things from your desk, and I'll be out in a few minutes for the debrief. All right. I'll be waiting. But first, I'd like to make a pit stop. Miss Reed, what a surprise. Weren't you suspended? I don't have time for your cryptic bullshit right now. I need information and you're gonna give it to me. You seem very sure about that. Where is the Smith's Lake House located? Which one? What country?
Please, I really need the information. And I don't have it. Apologies. Where is the Smith's Lake House located? Which one? What country? I don't have a lot of time, and I need to get as much information as I can from him. Keep your hands off me. You knew about Keith all this time? Do you think I'd tell you if I knew? We are surrounded by cameras and microphones. Even if I wanted to help you, I wouldn't say a word. What are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here right now to save your pompous ass. I need you to tell me where Keith and Cordelia are. Go to hell! You were there when Keith dragged Max down. You could have stopped this! You have no proof of that. No? How do you think I know? There were cameras, remember? I'm a lawyer. You can't intimidate me with your insinuations. You not only falsify documents, but you are also an accomplice to murder. With the points you're racking up here, it's not looking good for you. Do you want to try your luck? I won't say another word until I see something in writing. Nobody is watching. Nothing is recorded. I don't give a shit about you. I just want the address. Now speak! And I might just forget all about this. The lake house you are looking for is at 1246 Pleasant Brook Lane in Rockport. Why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you try to stop him? I didn't know what Keith had in mind, what he was capable of doing. Besides, it all looked like a sibling's quarrel to me. I hadn't been a father to Keith up to then, and I wasn't about to start. You piece of shit! Agent Reed! Agent Holmberg, stop her! Sorry, Petta. What kind of shit are you getting into, Erica? We used to come here every summer when Mom and Dad were alive. Things were much simpler back then. Don't take another step. You tricked me. My visions? John! The future is a very fickle thing, Erica. What we see is sometimes only one of many possibilities. I saved us both. Had I been in the Anthon Towers with you, one of us would have ended up dead. So I left the towers before that could happen. But fate has a funny way of correcting itself. Someone still needed to be shot. You led John and me to the towers. You're responsible for what happened to him. No, Erica. You didn't do what you were supposed to. You were supposed to kill Keith when you found him. You should have used your powers on him and you would have seen it all. But you didn't, Erica. You made a sloppy mistake. The kind of mistake that cost Davies her life. That's what you wanted me to do? Kill Keith? That's what this was all about. If you wanted this to end so badly, why didn't you kill him yourself? Killing one of my brothers was enough for me, Erica. People like us are cursed. We can't lead simple lives. 
Don't you dare compare me to you. You're a scumbag murderer. You killed Davies. You almost killed Sully and... What makes us any different? Tell me you don't want to pull that trigger right now. Give me one damn good reason not to. Very well. Take this. I found it down in the basement. Use your power on it. Do it. He's taken someone, but I can't see who. Me either. But we can work together to stop this, Erica. We can save that person together. So, what's it going to be? I don't trust you. If it helps, this might help me get closer to my goal. I want McAdams. <sighs> you really are crazy if you think I'll let you hurt anyone.